In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an image for a tactile graphic machine, such as the PIOP or the Swell machine. And I'm going to use the Good Notes app. The goal of this tactile graphic image is to help transition a young student from tactile resources to a digital math counting game. The game is one of many math games in the Math Melodies app. In order to successfully and efficiently play the counting game, the student should understand the spatial layout of the app and the simple grid formats. This particular counting game exercise has a two by four grid in the middle of the screen with answer choice buttons at the bottom and additional buttons down the right side. To play the game, the student has to count how many squares have animals. This requires that the student be able to drag his or her finger systematically through the grid, ideally across row one, then row two. So to begin with, I'm going to take a screenshot of this page. You could hear the camera sound. That's gonna go, this picture is gonna go into my photo albums. I'm gonna hit the home button and I'm gonna open up the Good Notes app. I'm gonna select add a new document. A pop-up comes up and I'm gonna find image, which is my photos. I selected that and I'm gonna grab the last image that I took. So now we have the screen shot of the Math Melodies game. I like to zoom in um, to make it larger so it's easier to draw on here. Now, Good Notes is a really nice app because it has just a, a few things in the toolbar along the top. So I'm going to adjust my width of my, um, my pen here. So I have a narrow width, a medium width, and a wide width. I'm gonna use medium. And then I'm going to select the image that has a uh, square, a circle, and a triangle. And I'm gonna make sure there's a pop-up that comes up. I'm gonna make sure that snap to other shapes comes in. This way I don't have to draw a straight line. It will do that for me. And I'm gonna be sure fill color is off. So I'm gonna get outside of that menu. I'm gonna close it by touching outside. And now I'm gonna drag my finger down around the square of the grid. So I'm gonna drag a rectangle and along the bottom, on the right hand side, and across the top. And my lines aren't super good, but because I have that snap in there, it automatically straightens my lines and makes a really nice rectangle. So I'm gonna to continue to draw in the center lines of my grid. And again, my lines aren't very straight, but that's okay. All right, so that one, I didn't quite start at the top, so I'm gonna redo it again. Let's go ahead and hit, there we go. Let's do that again. Okay, and across. Now, you can tell I'm having trouble making my lines really straight. If I had an Apple Pencil, this would be so much easier. Okay, and I can come back and correct a few of those things if I need to. Um, now, I'm gonna scroll with two fingers. So I'm gonna scroll down because I'm gonna draw boxes around the answers at the bottom. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna, oops, I was off that line. you can see how this works. Okay, I'm gonna scroll to the right. Oop, that one wasn't on very well. Again, an Apple Pencil makes this so much easier. And I'm finishing the last answer button. Use two fingers to scroll to the right. Now I'm gonna go up at the top and here we have circles. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my circle. And again, it pops right to where it should be. And I'm gonna scroll down. And I'm doing the circle buttons on the right-hand side of this app. 
Okay. Now I can also, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and make the triangle and I want that to be bigger and bolder. So I'm gonna say fill color and I'm going to um, drag and make a little triangle. Oh, my triangle became a circle. That tells you I'm not drawing very well. Okay. All right, so on that one, it did not fill it in. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make a thicker line and kind of fill that in just a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and zoom it, make this a little easier for me. So I can zoom in right on there and I've filled that. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my X and I'm gonna do it twice to make it a little bit thicker. Undo. There we go. Um, slide down. This one's a little bit more interesting. It's kind of a different shape. Let me make that a little bit thinner line so I can do it better. And I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to use a really thin line to make the little circles here and go back to a thick line and that one automatically filled in okay so now let's zoom back I'm gonna pinch I'm gonna go back to the normal size and I've got it done now what I want to do is I want to share it and I'm gonna say export this page so we hit the share button a pop-up comes up I'm going to export this page. I want to export as a PDF, so I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm going to include annotation as on. I don't want handwriting. I do not want to include page background. So the page background would be the visual picture in the background. I want just what I have drawn. So I'm going to turn that off. Include page background as off. I'm going to export it and I am actually going to um, airdrop this because I am beside my computer. I could email it, I could print it, um, but I want to go ahead and add text that how many animals are in each row or how many animals um, I want to put that into Braille and to do that it's easy to do that with Sim Braille which I have on my computer so I am going to just simply airdrop it to my computer and I will show you in another video how to add the Sim Braille.